Let's turn now to our coverage of the aftermath of the NSAS protest. In Lagos, the petition of a 69-year-old man alleging police brutality at the Lagos Judicial Panel of Restitution for victims of SARS-related abuses has closed. This was after Police Counsel Cyril Ejiofor said it will be difficult to lead any witness in evidence because the case is about 31 years old. The panel has also reserved its decision on a preliminary objection by the police that the petition of one Tony Okechuku be heard in Kaduna and not in Lagos. Kemi Foladiemo reports. Boye Gagbamiru was about 38 years old between 1990 and 1991 when two police officers said to be from Area F Division came to his house to arrest him. He says they stopped at the Ojo Legba Bridge area, beating him severely with a stick. His left eye was targeted and he adds that his two teeth fell off. They finally left him for dead. According to him, his offense was that he had earlier gone to confront the officers and a soldier who were all harassing and extorting residents at a checkpoint in the area. This very hand, I cannot use it to carry heavy things. There is a fracture inside this side. Time healing things. My leg and my waist today. You see, I'm still having problems. But the most important thing. Can you see with your two eyes? No. He left Lagos not long after the incident and travels to Ibotako in Nondo State for treatment of his injuries with the support of his family. With the support of his family, escorted by his wife, the retired soldier who's now an environmentalist, says his blindness is due to that ordeal and says this panel is his only hope of getting justice after past efforts failed. So you want, you want some kind of compensation? Yes. Yeah. Next came Emmanuel Okorodudu. The Port Harcourt-based car dealer accuses the police squad led by one Simon Nathaniel of tricking him to come to Abraka for a business deal on May the 5th, 2015, where he was arrested and beaten for selling stolen vehicles from Lagos, and that they also tortured and illegally converted his cars and other personal items while he was pursuing the case in Lagos. All that was sitting in court, they summoned them to come and testify, but they didn't appear for, for almost two years plus. They summoned them, called for them several locations, they did not appear until the matter was closed. So I want the panel to summon them to come and defend themselves here. The petitioner says he was charged to court after he fails to pay the police the demand of 1.5 million naira. Cross-examination is fixed for May the 18th. Kemi Foladiemo, TVC News, Lagos.